Now, I went to Brazil during carnival time. I had a whale of a time. I really enjoyed myself. Great. It's lively, it's vibrant, loads going on, people are in good spirits, colour, energy. You nothing but whinging. No, because I don't like, you know, the carnival and the block parties. It's all parties for me. I've never liked them anyway. I've never really had them. I've never had a birthday party. Um, I just, when I see them, you know, like that advert for Iceland, Iceland supermarket, yeah. you see Kerry Katona and Christopher Biggins have a little volivant. I don't look at that and go, that looks like a good, good, good night. No. But you're meant to, aren't you? It's meant to give you a good feeling. Iceland supermarket, look at the fun you can have with the food. I don't know where that party would be happening. <laughs> but I don't look at it and go, I'd love to be there. And it was the same in Brazil. I don't like false fun. That's what it is, false fun. Yeah. I don't like it when people organise stuff. Come round Thursday. Come round and have a drink and a chat. I don't know how I feel on Thursday. But you'd never get anything done if you didn't have a bit of planning. No, because you just, um, you go with it. It's good. Because you could go up to somebody and go, fancy coming round tonight, I've got some beers in, have a, have a chat. Oh, I wish you'd have said, I'm going to a party. No, no you're you. not, no, you're not. What, uh, what? Because there isn't such thing as planning. I'm right. just in the mood, I'm walking okay. down the street. Okay. I see you. Yeah. Fancy coming round tonight? No. Why not? I need more notice than that, really. Why? I've, I've left a chicken out. It's, it's, it goes off okay. tomorrow. And I go along, all right, Steve, are you coming around tonight? He's having chicken with me. Oh. Well, no, but I didn't know that because we hadn't arranged that. Yeah, you hadn't so arranged it. So I've got something it. going on, Rick, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. I can't eat a whole chicken. Do you want a chicken? OK. And there you go, you see. So my night is better than yours. I'm eating your chicken. <laughs> I'm having a free night out here because there was no planning going on and I'm getting a free night of chicken. What? Now, imagine if on the Wednesday before you <laughs> went... What day is it now? What day was today? Tuesday. So Tuesday, we're all walking down the street. I always okay. get emails from people going, right. are you coming out next week? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I don't like it. Long term. No. Do you know what? It's a good job I wasn't born gay because I don't know what I'd do. Why not? If you're gay, you'll be loving it, won't you? I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't think I'm suited to it. Why? Just the, the lifestyle. Well, what do you I mean, mean the parties lifestyle? and stuff? Because the lifestyle, the way they, they walk about over there showing off, being quite... A okay, you, you wake up gay tomorrow. What's the first thing you do? Do you get a boyfriend or do you play the field? I think you play the field. Yeah, you're gonna are you going to talk the same? Yeah, maybe in time. I suppose things rub off. If I'm knocking about with John Inman's of the world, I'm probably going to start maybe the, a little sort of... Uh, Give me something to say. Uh, oh, hello. I haven't seen you for ages. Right, so it'd be a bit different. Maybe the, oh, hello. Right, I haven't okay. seen you for ages. Okay. It'd be little things like that, and people would suddenly go, have you met Carl recently? Sounds different. Or so you go, you go home, you go home, you go, go, your dad goes, all right, so how's it going? Have you been doing any DIY recently? Oh, hello, Dad. I haven't, I haven't been there for a bit. Mm. Mm. Oh, what are you talking about for, Carl? How's Suzanne? Uh, I'm, I'm not with her anymore. <laughs> this is pointless because it's not the life I would choose. Okay, but you've woken up gay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it then. I'd just go, oh, I feel a bit happier today, don't know why. No, but then you start going, oh, or you go down, you buy a gay magazine, you're flicking through, you're looking at more cock than you've ever seen before in your life, and you're loving it. You look down, something's happened. What do you do next? I just wouldn't look at that magazine again. No, you're loving it. You go, oh, I can't believe I haven't seen this magazine before. Yeah, but I've seen knobs before. Have you? Yeah. Where? You see knobs all the time. Where? In gyms and that. And don't say you don't look, because you do when you're in a gym. Because it's there. What and is? If you don't look, if you're going like that, that's, that's more of a worry. If you're not happy looking a knob in the face, there's something wrong. <laughs> you should be comfortable with it. Just, just, there it's you go. It's a good rule of thumb. <laughs>